Welcome to This Day and Everything Cool for July 27. Three seminal games have been released on this day throughout history. On July 27, 1989, Nintendo released the RPG Mother on the Famicom in Japan. The gameplay was inspired by other RPGs of the era like Dragon Quest, with players traversing a top-down world and getting into turn-based battles, but the thing that set Mother apart was its story and tone. It wasn't set in a fantasy realm, but instead a colorful future where players battle invading aliens, and the game also offered a unique blend of dark humor combined with a thought-provoking story and mature themes. Mother was a success, but wasn't big enough for Nintendo to release it outside of Japan. Instead, they created a sequel, Mother 2, for the Super Famicom, or Super Nintendo, and that one was released outside of Japan, where it was renamed Earthbound. The original Mother has since been given a Western release and goes by the title Earthbound Beginnings. A year later, Nintendo took players to the Doctor. The blocky puzzle game Dr. Mario was released on the Famicom in Japan, with a Western release following on the NES later that same year. Like another blocky puzzle game, Tetris, Dr. Mario sees players organize colored pills that fall down the screen with the goal of matching colors in order to eliminate germs. The gameplay was actually pretty repetitive and at the time was criticized for being too similar to other puzzle games. Did we mention that it looks a lot like Tetris? History has been more forgiving to Dr. Mario, though, and the game has been re released on more modern systems like the 3DS. On July 27, 2010, Blizzard took players back to outer space. StarCraft II Wings of Liberty was released on the PC and Mac more than 12 years after the first StarCraft. Like the original, StarCraft II thrust players into a massive interstellar war between rival factions with in-depth real-time strategy gameplay and new playable races. Like other Blizzard games, StarCraft II was very well received and sold like crazy, and also like other Blizzard games, the servers were overworked and crashed for hours on launch day. StarCraft II received two separate expansions and is still being played and enjoyed by millions of people all over the world. We're waiting for StarCraft 3 in 2035.